Hi everyone, welcome to the shack, or should I say welcome to my QTH. Uh, quick video, uh, in my never ending pursuit of a stronger received signal on the Harwell uh, Wednesday and Friday skeds on top band and 80 meters, and of course in general, um, I've managed to uh, increase the height of my end fed wire for top band uh, by another couple of meters uh, over the main length of the antenna back to the house um, I think it was the, the the height was just over just a little bit above the apex it's now sort of quite significantly higher than the apex of the roof which is good uh, and then at the front end I've replaced basically a wooden baton um, and I think it's a piece of decking with a seven meter pole decathlon special. So the sort of front end of this antenna is probably now three meters higher than it was previously, something like that. Uh, and overall the, the length, uh, along the length of it, it's at least two meters higher. What I've actually had to do is, is basically swap these two poles. The pole on the left is actually supporting the end of my G5RV. <laughs> and my end fed wire which is supported uh, by the pole on the right was actually below that so effectively the previous setup uh, the G5 RV was higher than my end fed wire so I basically took them both down swapped them around so now the uh, my end fed wire is now higher is now above the G5 RV all a little bit close to each other really to be sort of fully optimum but uh, nevertheless uh, it does work now I've just been talking to someone on the radio and of course whenever you make uh, an improvement to an antenna all you want to hear is oh wow your signal's a lot stronger and that's exactly what didn't happen basically i'm being copied at the moment as well as i was previously uh, and that's kind of normal because i don't think conditions on 80 meters are particularly good today and uh and so it was probably it would have been a bit unrealistic uh to have everybody say to me yeah yeah wow what an amazing signal um you know you've raised the antenna by sort of two or three meters so that wasn't the case in fact there were a couple of guys that were struggling to hear me today but uh, uh everyone else was basically copying me the same um so uh it, it's just a variable that you have to kind of take into account and um you need you know a sample of one isn't statistically significant in terms of uh, determining how big an improvement increased increasing the height of an antenna you know will actually give you or increase well, and the same applies for if you're adding radials etc so we, this is um two guys that were on the net earlier so this is g0 aoz um and very nice audio i'm assuming they're all keeping keeping okay not sure whether you're uh, you've been able to work uh, uh, in the current situation. He's always 20 over with me, whatever, whatever band we're on, whether it's top band or 80. Um, he's got a very, he's got always got a very very strong signal with um, very nice audio. Um, he's actually talking to a guy, um, Golf Seven, Golf Victor Victor, who turned up on the net today. Um, and they, he know they know each other, and he's also he's actually in Cumnor Golf Seven, Golf Victor Victor. So he's quite close to me, and his audio is also very nice. And uh, on, on when they uh, when Roger finishes us over, I'll uh, let, give you a listen. Um, uh, I have been up there on my own, uh, but it's always nice to go up there with uh, the other chaps, so uh, one or more of them, uh, so that you can, uh, you know, have a bit of chat and uh, discuss things and try things out. But um, I have been up there on my own um, to uh, uh, to carry out a couple of uh, uh, sort out a couple of problems, um, but uh, I've been up there a couple of times actually. But uh, each time I made sure I was on my own and wore gloves and all this sort of stuff. So. Uh, uh, everything was uh, all okay, I think, uh, and I think the other chaps have been up there as well. Um, but uh, again, uh, sort of keeping the distance and so forth. So um, uh, that's uh, all uh, the way it's got to be for the moment, I think. But uh, anyway, your your uh, offer of assistance is much appreciated, Phil. Thank you very much. Um, okay, on the shack, and quite understand uh, uh, the problem.
problems here when uh, uh, when you have something that's intermittent can be uh, quite a problem to uh, to find it. Um, and uh, it was good that uh, you were able to sort that one out uh, relatively easily. As you say, it's more often than not uh, the that's waving around in the breeze, which is going to uh, uh, break off or become intermittent. Uh, so um, uh, it's, it was a surprise that it was uh, uh, the uh, the coax in the shack that was causing the problem. But anyway, all is rectified now. Right. Um, don't uh, have much um, more news to tell you, really. Um, uh, the uh, node is still operational uh, up at Bampton. Well, I remember, actually, I did a comparison on 20 and 40 metres, uh, comparing my G5RV to my NFED wire with a ground radial system, and all signals on my NFED wire uh, with the RF ground uh, and the radial system were 5 to 10 dB stronger. So um, my plan to modify my G5RV for top band and effectively convert it into a Marconi T. I'm going to have a go at that anyway, but I'm not expecting it to perform as well as my NFED wire. So if I, I'm just waiting for this for a break here, just to let you listen to the audio for, for, for Phil in Cumnor. Let's go. Your, well, you will be perhaps making your connections up to uh, Coventry, I think, which is where you uh, connect to. Um, you have a, a very good path uh, from uh, up on the hill there, uh, Phil. Uh, very, uh, very envious of that uh, nice location of yours for uh, getting uh, so, for, so far afield. Um, of course, I don't have, that, uh, um, don't have that facility down here. I'm uh, too low down, really, for uh, anything more than a few miles. But uh, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Uh, we don't always... Uh, can't always choose uh, um, to live in a, a good uh, hilltop location, but uh, it works well for HF here. I've got uh, a nice bit of wire out and uh, seems to load up reasonably well and uh, uh, get out and about, so um, I mustn't, uh, mustn't grumble too much on that score. Uh, G7 GVV, G0 AOZ. Uh, G7 GVV returning. All copied. Um, yeah, it's lovely to have a little back. I, I do like pretty sure I was walking around Boar's Hill when I last spoke to you on two metres or something. One, one of us, or maybe even both of us were mobile. It was a couple of years back. Um, but I'm sure I've got you somewhere in the log of a mobile station on two metres. And uh, I'd often take a handheld or an H17 on, on two metres. Because uh, I can just walk straight from here up to the top of Boar's Hill. So it takes a while, but it's a, it's a lovely walk. Yes, I forgot to reply. Yes, I'm okay. I'm... So there you go. Some very nice audio on my uh, NFED wire for uh, top band 80 meters, etc. Um, okay, well, I just thought I'd share that with you. So there you go. Um, it's an iterative process. Uh, you set up an antenna, you earth it, you add radials, you increase the height, you change the geometry of the uh, of the of the wire. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, but ultimately, uh, it only cost me four pound fifty. So um, because all of the parts basically I had, apart from the earth rod and the clamp for the uh, uh, to attach the uh, radials to it, so uh, uh, I'm very pleased uh, with the performance. And um, you know, although my signal wasn't reported to be any stronger today than it normally is, um, you, you know. Propagation is a variable thing, so you kind of need to like wait a while and uh, and look at average signal reports. So, uh, uh, it, which actually on the sched on Friday night, everybody or nearly everybody was actually hearing me a, a bit stronger than previously, and I uh, and that was the that was that was on the back of having increased the height a little bit more at the house. We'll say a little bit more, actually about four or five meters actually at the house. That did seem to make a big difference. So uh, this might be a, this, the difference I've made here, uh, the incremental difference in performance whether it's received or tra or, tra in, or transmit is probably a bit smaller but uh, nevertheless or worth doing okay well thanks for watching um more videos to come using the 817 at some point um i think it's you you mentioned i can't remember now so uh yeah i've uh, ordered a, a power pole for it to save the uh uh the, the the board in the back uh that the connector uh, power connector plugs into 
and a replacement uh, nickel metal hydride battery pack because both NICADs are busted. But um, there you go, that's another story and uh, with more videos on that to come. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Keep safe, 7-3.